Welcome. I am the Moonjin King of the Sanctuary. Today I react to Johnny Depp versus Amber Her Trial. Funniest moment. I believe. I feel that it is very not funny. Abuse is never funny unless it's by a chicken. And in that case, it is creepy and grimy. However, I like to laugh at misfortune and adversity from the century. So let us go into you. For you are... Uh, for you. <laughs> was a dear friend who, who has been sober for 30 years. We've had discussions and he wanted to, me to get uh, clean, sober. Uh, I, I appreciate that. My only question was just to confirm that you had sent that message to Ellen John, nothing else. I want to be respectful of the court's time and the jury's time. And I, I trust that you do too. So could you pull up exhibit 408, please? So this is what you need to understand about the court system. I am a legal expert of Virginia where this took place. And they never let you down and they never let you speak. They have to cut off your tongue if they could. Look at this crease, this form during the trial. Lawyers are paid to cut you up, to silence you. Um, where's he going? Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Ah. It's our Oh, yes. Johnny is synonymous with alpaca because he had a farm of alpaca and he offered them for Disney in, in exchange for him to have a job again. But Disney refused his alpaca farm. He had thousands of them, hundreds of thousands of the alpaca and giant peach also. But Disney would not be bribed. Uh, which shows how terrible and immoral you are. Because then all of the alpaca went to the incinerator because Johnny uh, or his people could not feed them any longer. Mr. Jeff, could you please explain to the jury who Sean Bailey is? Sean Bailey is the starting to. Yes, I'll try again. Whoa! I'll try again. Sean Bailey was quoted. Oh, I, I think I'm uh, familiar with Sean Bailey. He's a novelist, a writer. He writes science fiction and uh, fantasy. Uh, he comes uh, like robot um, dolls and, and hallucinogenic druggies uh, in the pie, the raisin, the spaghetti, um, AI, which links him to Elon Musk and his and his agenda is to take over the history of technology for the century. As, uh, oh my God. Oh yes, every time a lawyer, there's an unspoken rule that every time a lawyer objects with hearsay, he gets paid 100 pounds, exactly 100 pounds because if you remember from the UK, he failed. That was the UK trial where he lost. That was against the Sun newspaper. And then they brought the money in a chest. And they said, 100 pounds we give away. Every time there was a bet between the lawyer, every objection, they get different amount of money in pounds. 100 pounds for hearsay and i think 200 for lack of foundation uh, 300 pounds for the amica cream 400 pounds for the 
non il 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 est inelligible nonsensical inelligible and um and you get 1000 for objecting to your own question so this is like the shady business of the lawyers in virginia and how they work with the spies of the uk to funnel the money for you mr Depp, where was sean bailey <laughs> Mr. Depp, uh, with, with respect, the, uh, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was I simply... When you... Did you know that the court actually prefers unlimited time because then they all get paid by by the bribery, by the cookie cream from the canteen? And they know. It's unbelievable, but they know where, where you can find you or... The lemonade. You would agree. You, 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 you would agree. You would agree that on. Ah, this is why they take so long to look for the evidence. They get paid by the hour. Let's pull up Exhibit Five Hundred, please. Five hundred. Five hundred. Defense Exhibit Five Hundred. I like to. Sometimes drink. This is the thing. Your memory is weak, but your hospitality is strong. And the lawyers, they know the difference between right and wrong. But they always choose wrong because they have a thorn in the brain which bleeps and tells them the devil gives you power, gives you money. Gives you cookie. Drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? Isn't happy hour anytime? Yeah. You can't say that you carried cocaine in that box. So it's important to take away because you have to keep up with your entertainment. Whiskey is always very kind. No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. <laughs> I once gave a... cookie, cookie. You know, cooking is like powder for your face for the restroom, and it it knows the difference between a hospital and the orphanage. It knows who is a child, who is grown who is a tolerant being and who was destroyed of the innocence many years before you met you. Marilyn Manson appealed uh, so that he would stop talking so much. <laughs> uh, Marilyn Manson is another man who has been sued for, for abuse. But I think he now retreated to the kingdom of Bahrain. So now they are trying to find him. But they cannot even trace his tractor. And his, his crops, they all died. But he sold them after they died. And now people are eating ruined crops. All because of this case. And it's unfortunate because... He was a good farmer. He was a great farmer. Did I read that right? You did. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And Again, they, are, they charge a penny for your perfume, so they make sure they get the gold digger. Right after you cut your finger off, that you are right after I won't give you anything to argue with me yet right after you sustain an injury to your finger again they actually like when you argue because they like to waste time they want to waste your time but to them time is only a decoration to them time is like the cream to your coffee Sorry. that you Right after you sustain an injury to your finger. Bless you. 
You poured yourself up. When you bless someone for the sneezy time, good things happen always. It's been proven in the movie, uh, was it uh, Peter Pan or was it um, Goran of the Babu? Um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? Yeah. Mega is not so mega when you think about the contribution from the science. The uh, first person time of the year. How can it be? How can it be? How can it be? Oh, you see. I'm gonna fast forward in time a little bit, Mr. Depp. Um, yes, I oh, fast I, forward. I have other uses for your throat which do not include ah. injury. I have other uses for your throat. Even more evidence of the physical abuse she suffered at the hands of Mr. Depp. But that's not the basis for our motion right now, Your Honor. Ah, cheap man for you. He, he talks about how Mr. Depp uh, had a sworn denial um, and that that should count. He, he, we read his testimony. He claims he didn't strike her. But again, that's not the basis for our motion. The basis for our motion is the clear and undisputed evidence of non-physical This abuse. is Rotten Bottom! Only a man named Rotten Bottom would like his own name. Abuse. By his definitions, by his standards, by the standards of his expert, there is no dispute that Mr. Depp un abused Amber. And therefore, if he did it even one time, there is no dispute that even under their theory of the case, the implication- I will whack you! For you. That they want the jury to draw from the article, which again, I'm not arguing for the purposes of today, because you under argue. the legal standard, I'm not going to argue that. I'm not going to waste the court's it's time. It's your job to argue. Should I get a refund for Amber? I'm with that. But even under their standard, the undisputed evidence is that Mr. Depp did commit abuse against Ms. Heard, and therefore that those first two statements were false. Tory statements, um, at the motion to strike at this juncture, I view the evidence in light most favorable. You reminds me of... Robin from the Dark Knight Returns. To the plaintiff and reasonable inferences from the evidence to the plaintiff. And if there is a scintilla of evidence that a reasonable juror could weigh, then the matter survives a motion to strike. Uh, in this matter, there is evidence in the case that a jury could weigh that the statements were made by the defendant, that the statements were about the plaintiff, that the statement was published, that the statement is false, and the defendant made the statement knowing it to be false, or the defendant made it so recklessly as to amount to a willful disregard for the truth. The weight of that evidence is up to the fact finder, so the motion to strike is denied as to statement two and three. Uh, the motion to strike as to statement one, I'm going to take under advisement, because um, if it's not a stipulation, I'm not sure what it is, but there seems to be an agreement that the tweet of Ms. Heard is part of the plaintiff's evidence, which is not an evidence at this point, so I can't rule on that statement whether or not it is just a tweet or if it's some sort of republication or something. I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. So as to the motion to strike on, on statement one, I'm going to take under advisement, because ruling on now, it would be premature, because I just don't have that evidence in the case. Okay. Every day. Right. Six, Every six, day. Richard! And and what and when in was it just ah. Mr. Depp and Amber Heard? Just Mr. Depp and Amber Heard. She looks like a grandma. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I'm gonna deck you in the schnoz. I fucking was hitting you. Oh, 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 oh my god! My back! <laughs> my back! Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, correct? <laughs> Go grab your tissue for your virtue. He reminds me of a character from Pirates of the Caribbean, the governor, Elizabeth's father. No. You said the door was so thick you couldn't hear the actual words that were being said, is that right? No, it's just a, uh, a, a shouting. And then you saw, then you went in the house and saw Mr. Depp in the foyer, correct? Yes, oh. correct. And Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the foyer, wasn't Ooh, he? Uh... No. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Depp had his penis out of his head. Ah! I think it was a Relevance. <laughs> Next question. I think I you remember were trying to get Mr. Depp's penis. Correct, we're trying to get Mr. Depp's penis. And Mr. Depp. Objection calls for hearsay. Oh. I can't hear you. Mr. Depp. Um, 
let's let him object to another one. Hmm. He Daddy. Conversation Lawyer. With Ms. Heard. He's being cautious. He knows. He knows the, the the lion is coming, or in this case, a weasel. Crouchy, crouchy, come to bitey. Let's move beyond the conversation <laughs> that he had with Miss Heard. He said, "Yes, they have." Uh, okay. You see their games. They put the nerves in you. You feel you cannot say anything. They think they own your wisdom and your memories. One day I will release my machine for the memory. But until that day, we have to poke and prod and walk on the shells of the crabs. It appears that Miss Heard had told you. Ah! Fight. Uh, ah. For him to cook. Ah. That's hearsay, I guess. Ooh. Oh, I oh, just oh, oh. the truth of the matter, sir. He got it. Okay, I right, well, okay. I'm learning. Ooh, useless procedure. Tasteless behavior. It's heard that. I'll move to strike this as hearsay, Your Honor. This is not human. This is artificial. This is robotic. This is not genuine life. Irving. Yes, I looked at papers. Maybe they're hearsay. So I can read it out. Everything is now a suspicion. You feel you cannot express. You feel the truth cannot be revealed without suppression. Someone's article, but uh, not from the man's mouth. I think it's a it's a pretty simple yes or no question, which is you'd love other to th empire. Other, nothing simple well, in this case. Other than October is two months before. The enemy this. always wants you to be simple, but they don't realize that you are complex. You are. Not just a bear, but a pomegranate! Yes. October is two months before December. That's correct. Um, That's this was a document that you signed as part of your divorce proceedings, correct? That's my signature. That's a waste of hope you Mr. That, that is your signature on the right, correct? So many documents. Yes, it is. I bet he wants signed, some wine! Right? For the third time, that is my signature, yes. And that was a document you signed in August 2016. What history! Is that the same one that I signed three times before? Uh, well, I just I wanted to make clear that you signed it. Yeah. 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 So, what we learn from all of this? Trials are. A joke. They are a joke. Ah, they have drugs and lawyers, robot lawyers, robot witnesses. In this case, Johnny tried his hardest. He was trying not to be a junkie, not to be a technician. An electrohydraulic contraption. But that's what the lawyers wanted from you. Not to be you, but to see you. And not for you, but for Rotten Bottom and his menacing agenda. So, Johnny does good. Understand for you to keep calm, to not explode into fireworks every minute so technical so infuriatingly slow is the tractor of your destiny tell me your thought show me your crimes and remember jump 
on that subscribe button if you would like to eat the cheese. Farewell for you, my munchins. Take care, my munchins. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah!